So now that we have the uh, at least uh, one spot for each of the tracks that we're going to put in the song, we are going to start with the drums. And uh, what we want to do is find a drum kit over here in our instrument rack in our browser. Um, the, uh, there's lots of options here. There's lots of ways to go. Uh, you can opt for electronic drums of all stripes and varieties. You can opt for uh, acoustic drums. And uh, we'll take a listen to some of these so we can hear what we're dealing with. Uh, these are the drum kits that come with Ableton Live, uh, Ableton Live 9 Suite. Uh, and then there's also drums in these packs, which we're going to end up using one of those, but I want to just show you what's in here. In the drums category, we have, then we have these different kits, and they preview when you click over them. You can tell by this ADG file that this is a, a live instrument, and if you drop that, into this drum track that we have. It's going to load up that instrument down here so we can start playing around with it. Uh, but before you do, you might want to sample it and hear what it sounds like, and that's why it, it previews for you uh, when we have our little preview button on, uh, the little blue headphones down here. It uh, will play it so that you can hear what it sounds like. So here's what some of these different uh, drum kits sound like. The sounds, the pounds, it's like mind detects mind. The mind. So there's a lot of different uh, electronic drums that just come with Ableton Live. Lots of stuff to uh, pick from. So uh, we also have percussion sounds under instruments. Uh, there's uh, the uh, impulse kits. That's another place you can pull from. And then the thing we're probably going to use is the packs. These are brand new things. People are coming out with new instruments for Ableton Live all the time. And some of them are offered for free on the website and some of them are offered uh, for a uh, fee. So uh, what we did was downloaded every free pack that Ableton currently has to offer and three of those things are these session drums. Now there's uh, all kinds of designer electronic drums. Designer drums here is an electronic kit. Uh, a bunch of different electronic kits actually. Uh, Digicussion the same thing. Um, all those. Uh, I believe some of those, I believe these are actually also listed under the drums category. They're duplicated there. Um, but what we're going to use is one of these live kits uh, or live sets of kits down here. Uh, these are large sample packs of real recorded drum kits in a studio. So if you listen to these drums, you'll see they sound a lot more like a real live drum kit that's been mic'd up because that's what it is. It's a recording of real drum kit. So what we're going to do is pick a drum kit uh, from one of these three uh, packs, the Session Drums Club, the Session Drums Multi-Mic, or Session Drums Studio, uh, just to use to get our notes in here, get all the parts, and then we'll start messing around with, we, we can just drop another drum kit on there later and it'll still have all of the notes we've put in. So we just need a drum kit to get started with, and I think I'm just going to grab one of these Session Drums uh, Club, because the drum kit we're dealing with is uh, this kit here in the song. So it's got this like semi-punchy, kind of wolfy sounding snare drum, or a uh, kick drum rather. And this real mid-rangey, uh, punchy, uh, it's got a lot of low mids in it, the snare drum does. Uh, so we're kind of going for that 
you know, big rock drum sound. Okay, partially open hi-hat. So uh, we'll just go in here and find a drum kit that we think works for now, just to put the instrument uh, or get the notes in there. Kind of like these two. Let's do this one. So all we're going to do is take that instrument, click on it, drag it over to the drums. Uh, you don't have to drop it on the name. You can just drop it on the track. It always takes a moment to load up the drums. When you when you load up the uh, uh, the multi mic drum kits, there's so many more samples in each one of those drum kits that it takes a lot longer to load. So I'm just loading one that's a little faster to load in for now. So we still don't have any information in this MIDI track, but we do now have a instrument when we click on this track. So now we have a drum kit down here, and. Uh, just like with the Q-Pack, all of our instruments are spread across the keyboard here, and you can trigger those by hitting the keyboard or just by clicking these sample play buttons. So I'm just going to start mimicking the drum sound that's already in there, the drum patterns that are already there. For instance, at the top of the song, we've got a stick click. Um, Let's see, what am I going to throw in for that? It might, we might not have that here. Um, you know, let's, just, let's just use a closed hi-hat for that. All right. So we'll start at the beginning. Uh, we got to arm that track without turning off my mic. So I'm going to hold down the command key while clicking and that leaves both of them armed. And we need a MIDI track to start with just like we did last time so I'm just going to record a little bit. So I can delete this because that's my breathing. And pull this out. <clears throat> the other thing we can do is double click on this and just tell it how many measures we want. I forget what it is, like 103 or 113 or something. So I'm just going to put 120 measures in there for the length of this clip. And that should bring us out to uh, should bring us out to 120 measures. That's how we did it in Live 8. I don't know why it's not doing it. But anyway, we'll just drag it out. And like we did with the others, we'll hit Command-J. And it will take on the number of measures that we've dragged it to, 106. And go back to the beginning. And uh, double-click here. And then we're going to start putting in uh, drum information into this MIDI clip. Here's all of our drums. And for the first bar, we just have a click. Uh, originally, it was a stick click. I don't think we have one of those. Let's take one more look. Yeah, 
No, it doesn't. So we'll just use a closed hi hat. Hi hat closed. Where was it? There we go. All right. So uh, let's put this to quarter notes because that's, well, yeah, just for now. So we have this pattern on the hi hat now that's uh, da 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 da, and uh, at this tempo that's one e and a two e and a, so it's a sixteenth note rhythm. And uh, for now, I'm just going to put some of these in by hand. Uh, when I get this hooked back up to a keyboard, I could easily play these in, uh, but uh, without the keyboard here, it'll be difficult for me to explain how to hook that up. So. When I get back to the lab, I'll uh, I'll do that. But hitting Command B to go to draw mode, I'm just drawing in sixteenth notes. Now that can be a little overbearing. Uh, we're going to change some of this later, but I'm just showing you a couple different ways to put information in. And here's the kick drum pattern. third beat. All right, so that's our pattern for that measure. Uh, one thing you should know, <coughs> by clicking on these, uh, on the keyboard, the keyboard uh, piano roll on the left, you can select everything on a particular note, which means that instrument across it, the entire song. So you click there and it selects everything. So I can take that pattern now and uh, copy it and paste it and move it around, delete it. Uh, I can duplicate it if I just wanted to make another copy. Uh, I could uh, select it and then down here, this little window shows us the velocities of all the notes, which is how hard we pressed the MIDI note when we originally created it. Now, since I pushed all these in with the mouse, they're all the same velocity, but we can uh, make some changes to that later. Um, but here I'm just affecting the hi-hat, how hard it was hit by the stick, essentially. Okay, so uh, that's enough for this one, and I'll uh, get hooked up to a keyboard and show you how to put these in using the keyboard in a bit.